Welcome to the Cottage and Pizza Center. I am Marinara. The first round of Gourmet Madness is complete and we are down to the Saucy 16. Today in studio, we have Gourmet Analyst Cheese Louise to discuss. Hi Mary, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for coming Cheese. So there has already been quite a bit of controversy in the first round of Gourmet Madness. Everybody was shocked when the Price Buster overtook the Hawaiian in the first round, especially since the Price Buster was a little underbaked in their performance last year. How do you think they pulled it off? Well, Mary, the wine has been a top gourmet for years, and I think that they just got overconfident. They really let their guard down, and the Price Buster has really gotten their toppings together since last year. I've heard allegations of Price Buster fans spreading anti-pineapple propaganda outside of the arena. This has sent pizza fans into a frenzy. Do you think that these fans really cost the Hawaiian the game? I doubt it, Mary. Those pie-hard Price Buster fans have been with their team through thick and thin crust. They just want to see the price buster win fair and square. And frankly, it just sounds like a big conspiracy to me. But I do believe this has sparked a new rivalry between the Hawaiian and the price buster. And the Hawaiian just wants to take a spot back as a fan fave. I think you might be onto something there. Speaking of favorites, I was personally devastated when the Cuban lost the first round to the favorite. What do you think happened there? Well, both teams played really hard, but just that referee was a real piece of work. I mean, he was missing fouls left and right. In my opinion, the Cuban just got burned by those bad calls. I could not agree more. Well, thank you for the insight, Cheese Louise. Thank you for having me. That's all we have time for today. In the next round, eight more gourmets will bite the crust. Until then, keep up with all of the Gourmet Madness updates on our Cottage Inn Facebook page. I'm Mary Nara. Until next week.